Welcome to Mars Saga, your gateway to the Red Planet. Subscribe now and join the journey. Today, I'm going to take you to a world where silence speaks, where stones tell stories, and where beyond Earth, a tale was written, a tale billions of years old. Friends, if you think Mars is just a red planet, then after today, your perception will change. Because what you're about to see is not just dust, rocks, or sand. It's the fossil of time, the memory of the cosmos, and the clue to the mystery of life we've been chasing for decades. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, be sure to check those out first. Links are in the description. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss the next Martian update. This is Mars Saga. Imagine this, you're standing on a land where the wind doesn't blow, where the temperature drops to minus 60 degrees Celsius, and where everything seems frozen in time. This is the surface of Mars, a place that appears silent, but in truth, it speaks. When NASA's rover, Perseverance, lands here, every track its wheels leave behind hides a story. Every picture it sends opens a window to the past. These rocks, this dust, they're not just soil, they're witnesses of a time when rivers flowed on Mars, lakes shimmered, and perhaps life existed. Friends, Perseverance's greatest mission is to search for ancient fossils on Mars. When the rover drilled into the soil of Jezero Crater, it collected particles containing carbon, iron, and clay minerals, the same elements that on Earth are always linked with life. It's possible that within these stones lie traces of microbes, tiny life forms that once swam in Martian waters and were later trapped in rock as the planet dried out. Remember, these aren't just stones. They're fossilized memories of time. If you look at the map of Mars, you'll see ancient valley lines, what scientists call outflow channels. These are pathways where water once flowed, where rivers carved the land and built deltas, just like the Nile or Amazon on Earth. When Perseverance sent back high-resolution images of these regions, scientists found layered sediments, rock layers that proved there once were flowing rivers, lakes, and even a climate system. This might be the very place where life took its first breath. Many believe Mars is dead, but in reality, it's still alive. Perseverance's camera spotted new rock formations that seem to have formed through volcanic activity. Some rocks have cracks and surface marks showing that lava once flowed and energy once surged from beneath the crust. This isn't the image of a wasteland. It's the breath of a living planet. Friends, Martian dust is no ordinary soil. Hidden within it are chemical clues revealing that once water flowed, evaporated, and perhaps even rained. When Perseverance used its PIXL instrument to scan rocks microscopically, it found magnesium, sulfur, and carbonates, signs that on Earth, form only in the presence of water. This isn't just simple analysis, it's the echo of life itself. Now pause for a moment and feel the silence of Mars. There's no sound here, no birds, no wind, just a deep silence that somehow feels alive. When Perseverance gazes toward the horizon, it's as if Mars itself is looking back at humanity and asking, will you return? It's a moment where silence speaks and time stands still. And now comes the big question. Will we really go to Mars? Both NASA and SpaceX are preparing to send humans to the red planet. Within the next 15 years, the first human footprints may mark the Martian soil. By then, these very rocks will lie beneath our feet. Those same fossils will whisper to us 
where life began and remind us that we are not alone in the universe. Perseverance's sonar scans, NASA's InSight lander's seismic readings, and Curiosity's soil analyses have revealed something extraordinary. Beneath Mars lies an entire hidden world. When InSight detected tremors deep within the Martian crust, it proved that Mars's interior isn't lifeless. There are still subtle quakes, tiny vibrations showing that the planet's surface is still moving slowly but surely. These gentle ripples are signs of energy flowing beneath the rocks. And wherever there's energy, the possibility of life can never be fully ruled out. Perseverance and Curiosity have discovered carbon compounds, sulfates, phosphates, and even organic molecules in their samples, the same building blocks from which life is formed. But the real surprise came when NASA announced that some samples contained carbon isotopes usually produced by biological activity. That small clue might just be the first glimpse that life once existed on Mars. Just imagine, friends, a planet that now lies silent might have once echoed with rippling waters, whispering winds, and maybe even the faint breaths of microbes in the Jezero crater and Neret Favelis. Perseverance has captured images showing circular structures inside rocks, patterns that scientists call microfossil formations. They're still being studied, but if confirmed as genuine ancient fossils, it would become the greatest discovery in human history, a moment that would change everything, when we'd finally say we were never alone. We discovered that beneath the dust, Mars still breathes with traces of life. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Mars Saga, where Mars speaks, and we don't just listen, we understand. In the next episode, we'll explore the Martian sky, its clouds and shifting weather, and see how even a dead planet can breathe with beauty. I'm your host, and this is Mars Saga, where every rock tells a story. Thank you for watching till the end. You are watching Mars Saga. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends.